Forsen's been on Redan for five hours. Bro, I, like I said, Redan is probably the hardest boss in the Soul series. At least he was for me. I've never had to use a summon in any game. And I had to use the NPC. Well, okay, to be fair. When I talk about summons in other games, I'm talking about other players to help. In this game, there's built-in summons that are NPCs. Regardless, I've never had to get help from an NPC or a player to beat a boss. Redan, I could not solo. He was fucking brutal. No, I finished Ronnie's quest last night. Exit Prime, Boy Barante. So far, Ronnie's quest, Ranny's quest, I keep forgetting how you say her name, has been the best, by far. Like, better than Mainline. Her quest fucking slapped. You fight two super cool bosses with Redan and Astol. Blood is fantastic, EG's great. That was pretty cool! Oh wow. Okay, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my god! I'm actually just getting fucking comboed. Shit. Now nah, we're good. We tanked it. I thought that was going to interrupt. Sorry, kid. Got him with the old knight in flame. The sword's OP. This build is pretty fucking busted, to be fair. Though, I think with bleed... If I had gone full bleed, I would have been able to make something just as strong. Granted, a little riskier, because at least for bleed I'd need to get close. But then there's also Moon Veil, which is busted. So there's just a lot of really strong options. And I haven't even tried the Moonlight Greatsword yet, because I'm not high enough. Faith does seem really good. I want to go get some of the dragon spells, but I think my faith is still too low for most of the good ones. So I'm going to need to level up faith a bit more. That's where I'm going to start dumping all of my points. Oh, he faked me out. That was pretty cool. Gotcha. Outplayed, idiot. Yeah, sword's nuts. Now that I've leveled it up, I also do just good damage from a plunge or a jumping attack. All around, just kind of a busted sword. I guess to be fair though, Moonveil's probably still a bit better because it's faster. I also think it uses less FP. But it's still a pretty fun one. God, she just got fucked up. That's just not fair. That's just basically a two shot. I'm assuming this boss was earlier. Cause goddamn. Or she's really weak to faith. Jesus Christ. The madness! Oh my god! That was a lot of damage and it made me fat roll. Oh. Good trade! <laughs> Jesus Christ. There you are. He's got the pizza cutter. I want it. Gotcha. So I imagine the moveset's different in this game than in Bloodborne. Concept's still probably the same though. Strength and dex. Whoa, that blood loss? 
Wait, that's kind of huge. Wonder if I could change the scaling to also go with faith. Well, actually, I'd still need ten more strength levels. It wouldn't matter. Let's go, me. Oh! Fuck. God, Mimic is so good. Well, that was unlucky. Ooh, followed by some really good luck. Hey, outplayed. Sorry, idiot. Hey, nice kill, Mimic. Advanced AI. He knows to go the safe way to get here. Uh-oh. Damn, I thought I could jump over that. Okay, his fan's popping off. That wasn't a backstab? Okay. Also not a backstab, I guess. Jesus Christ. Gotcha. He was tough! That guy, that guy had some good rolls. Oh, whoa. That was further than I thought it'd be. Oh, God. Oh! The double poke. Pushed me into it after they died. What a fucking hero. I mean, is it better to do it as part of the quest line or just go do it now? Oh shit! Alright, we're in a tough spot. What a fucking save though, I'm nuts. <laughs> Bad time to look at chat. What a absolute gamer move though. Come back! Oh, he's killing himself. What the fuck? Jesus, is this guy chasing me? Oh my god! Holy shit, he's ruthless. He is still just waiting outside the door like a trick-or-treater. I don't think I can hit him from here. Oh god, no! He got his little fingies in. I know there's a ladder behind me, but I thought there was another- Jesus, I thought there was another item out there. This is just not gonna work. That guy's got that on lockdown. See it's weapon art. Looks like light attack's best choice. This is pretty cool gimmick boss, though. Jumping heavy. Oh! It has its own cool jump attack. Oh. Oh my god. I'm stuck against this wall. Ah! Jesus Christ. Shit! <laughs> Fucking stop! Okay, let's try it. Yeah. Going for it! Big combo! Finish it with a jump attack! Oh. Yeah. 
That was a cool boss. That was very cinematic. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh. Close call. He just squeaked a little extra damage out right at the end. Jesus fucking Christ. That almost got me. And I got a new knight. More ash. I got Oga. What's your opinion on parrying? I don't think I've ever seen you do it. That's because I never do like a tanky shield playthrough. I just don't think it's as fun. Though to be fair, I am abusing a really yucky sword right now. But I'd still prefer it to using like a shield and shit. Just not for my playstyle. I've never really done that in Dark Souls. Except Dark Souls 1 Remaster. I did a Poise Boys playthrough, which is pretty cool. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Close. Ah! Leave me alone. I need stamina back. Uh-oh. Damn, that's tough. That bad boy really lingers. There we go. Good rhythm. Looking nice. Play it safe. I'm not taking any chances right now because this guy has a lot of health. I don't want to have to do this again. No. Very good. Calculated. Easy game. Easy boss. Big man. That was pretty clean. How many tries was that? Three? Two? Two or three? There's a boss at the big burnt tree? Cool. Another tree spirit. I'm just using a summon, man. I'm so tired of tree spirits. This is literally my tenth one, I think. At least. It's gotta be. It is absolutely gotta be. They really like the tree spirits in this game. Oh my god, the game is really struggling right now. Man, my boy's really hanging in there. He's fucking tanking everything. Nice. Good work! Hey, who's that handsome guy, eh? Good shit. Whoa, what the fuck? Man, hit me with a full auto crossbow. He brought the Gatling gun out. Holy shit. This kind of like a... Whoa! No backstab. It's a wacky crucible night. Shit, I'm dead. Never mind, I'm lucky. It went through. Oh. Please stop. Okay, let me just go this way first. That's sad. He just flew the second I used it. Oh, clutch. Do you or chat know of anyone trying to do a no-hit run for Elden Ring? Uh, I imagine Dino or Lobos will probably start, or Happy Hob. But currently, I, I can't say for sure. The game's so new, man. Everyone's still finding and exploring and just really getting into it. I'm sure they'll be coming soon, though. Thanks for your sub, Mark. I think this would be a really hard one to no-hit because all of the bosses have, like, a lot of really wide-sweeping huge hitboxes. As well as a lot of, like, labored attacks. So that I play with timing quite a bit. Another fucking tree spirit. Why? 
Unironically, this is probably the 10th or 11th tree spirit I've killed in this game. They love this boss. Shit. Well, I'm fucked. He's got me fucking pinned in here. There we go. Alright. Double digit tree spirits killed now. Awesome. Oh, this guy's having a real rough go of it. Hey, keep your head up, champ. That's sad. Poor guy. Oh! Close. What? This guy's going wild on me. Close call. That guy was fucking wild. Oh, this is a boss. Take this! Oh. God damn. Kind of popping off. Oh, panic rolled, but got lucky. Oh shit! Playing it very safe. I'm surprised this guy takes so much holy damage. Gotcha. Rest in peace, Godfrey. Nice. I remember chat was saying that guy was really fucking hard. Yeah, this sword kind of put him on easy mode. Unless that wasn't the real Godfrey. It was just his force ghost. Willful traitors. Oh. What does that even mean? You just combined a bunch of words that made no fucking sense, weirdo. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all. So is Margit just like an alias? Like when he needs to go undercover? <clears throat> oh! Holy shit, what a combo. Damn. I didn't even get a fucking chance for like an opening at all. Damn, Morgoth! Summon the brother. You can summon Margit against Morgoth? Let me see. Oh, wh who the fuck is this? Oh, Melina. Ah, that's fine. I don't need you. I don't do summons. Would have been cool, though, if you could summon his brother. Or, I guess, I don't even know if it's his brother or if it's the same guy. God, he takes a lot of magic damage. Oh! These foolish wow. ambitions to rest. He does not fucking stop comboing. Yeah! Oh! Gotcha. Oh, it didn't kill! Shit! Just take it. Whoa!
Holy shit, he's going nuts. <laughs> oh, yucky. I'm so sorry, Morgod. Yeah, sort of Night and Flames just kind of busted. What was that? Two tries? Or two deaths? Third try? No, actually it might have just been my second try all out. Good builds just do big things. Like I said, Dankin had Moonveil. Moonveil's got some crazy shit to it. Dankin killed him in like fucking 30 seconds. I also saw another streamer, I'm forgetting who, was using an Ultra Great Sword. And every single jump heavy did like almost 25% of his health. Just good builds, man. That was a big guy. Looking all old and shit now. Oh man, it's so pessimistic. To be fair, using OP weapons is the same as using summoning co-op. That's a shit take. Quite literally every weapon can be very good, depending on how you build and how good you are. There's only a few like actual dog shit weapons that will never have use. It's the way it's always been. <laughs> 